Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are taking a look at something that I really messed up on my ID4 installation. That was my USB cable for the flash updates for the instrument cluster. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to install a flush mount USB the correct way because let me show you what happened with this one. Yes, that's right. It is directly in the trash can because, so I did this and actually the paint came out terrible, so I would have had to sand this down anyway. So I did this thing, it didn't come out that great, it's got like issues and all that. Turn it around, you notice here, see this? <clears throat> There's absolutely no way you can push this back in. This thing blocks the panel completely. It sticks out like, you know, yay high. Um, there's no way this is going in. So I ruined this trim piece. I ordered a new one off eBay. I got it. I painted it. It looks sick. It looks so good. And I already installed that right here. So there's the new piece. Now today we are going to be installing this USB extension cable here. And I decided this time to just go with round because it's stupid to do square because then you have to use like a Dremel with round. All you have to do is use like, you know, the correct size bit or use one of these stepping bits. So I ordered this Como wear bit off of Amazon and this USB cable off of Amazon. So the first thing I'm going to do now is get my trusty drill and I am going to, I think I'm gonna put the USB extension here. If it'll fit, I need to open that up and see if there's any space. If not, I'm gonna do it in the actual dash piece, which I know sucks. But I'm gonna pull this vent piece off underneath the steering wheel now and see how much space is back there. And then I'll figure it out after that. And I'll update you guys. All right, so I couldn't get to the USB extension cable from there. But I did successfully manage to finally break every single tab off of this vent, so don't do what I did. I broke both of these tabs off right here. So now I'm gonna use some like epoxy to get those two back in. Um, no big deal, it's whatever. Um, however, there's my light. So I decided I'm gonna put this thing actually on this vent cover down here. There's plenty of room right here. Underneath this sound deadening. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it right there. But to do that, I need to push the panel back up there and then drill from the bottom. So I'm gonna do that now and let you guys know. But first, actually I'm gonna test my USB extension cable. I have a firmware update for the um, ID4 that addresses an issue that I actually found. And that is it's draining my battery when it's off. So I'm gonna do that now and test this USB extension. Got the uh, USB extension cable plugged in. And I am going to try to update the firmware on my cluster here. Let me turn off all the stuff in the car. It's gonna drain the battery. Everything's off. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into my, pardon me for a moment. I got the USB plugged into the extension cable. Let's see if it works. Software update, okay. So it's gonna take a few minutes. Um, while it does that, I am going to uh, chill out and wait for this to finish. All right, so I determined the best location for this. The only place that there's clearance is right over here in this corner. So it's going right there underneath the steering wheel, right in this corner there. Everything else, there's no way to do that. Um, and I don't want to drill through my dash up here. Now, while this is updating, I'm going to go ahead and connect my battery tinder. And if you guys don't have one of these, they're freaking awesome. Here's my battery tender junior. Right here. 
And of course on BMW, you can hook it to the front. Otherwise, you know, BMW batteries in the trunk. So always hook up the battery part first before you plug in the actual battery tender. So lights on there is gonna be red because the battery is gonna be slightly drained. Yep, so it's gonna be red for a while, then flash green, then go full green when the battery is charged, which usually takes four or five hours. So I'm still waiting for the software to update on this thing, and then I'll run the cable down to where it's gonna be permanently and start drilling the hole. Software update just finished and the cluster rebooted. Got my variable step drill bit on here to drill for the USB mount. This comes also with it, but this is so ghetto. There's no way I'm using this for under the dash. Now, the only issue now is I don't have a tightening tool for the drill. So hopefully I can get this tight enough where I can uh, actually do this. I'm gonna try that now. Just started drilling my hole right here. It's gonna go right there. If my focus would ever work. It's not big enough yet. I already tested the USB cable by feeding it through the hole. So I am going to drill that out just a little bit more and try that. All right guys, got my hole drilled. It came out so good. Check that out. That's my new USB mount for the instrument cluster upgrades. Fed the wire down through the dash, got it right here. It's gonna be connecting to this female here. I'm gonna get that connected, tape it up with some electrical tape, put the vent back on, and then update you guys after that. All right, got the panel all put back on. There's my new USB extension interface for the instrument cluster. I'm gonna go ahead and epoxy this vent back together that I broke. Put a few little, either epoxy or silicone sealer, it really doesn't matter. It's not a big deal, I'll probably epoxy it. It's just never coming off again. So gotta make sure that's what we wanna do forever. I'll go ahead and do that now. All right guys, I got my epoxy quick weld. Um, just on those two little tabs that I broke, no big deal. Um, got the inside wrapped up. I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a good vacuum now while this quick weld dries. In six minutes, the stuff is ready to be put back on. All right guys, just got done cleaning up all the tools. And this is what we did today. We now have a USB extension for the center console that doesn't break the trim anymore. So I will put a link to this in the description. Again, this can go anywhere. Probably would have been cool to put it in the center console, but honestly, this thing's gonna get used like once every three months. So I'm not super concerned about the location. Um, going to disconnect the battery tinder uh, and then see if my console um, gives a high battery drain again, because they did introduce a firmware update just for me to test whether I get high battery drain now. So I'm um, gonna disconnect this get this video all edited up and I'll see you guys again really soon.